All right, good evening. We're about to start the first match of the Amanda Lingenfelder Fast Five Tournament. On court, we have Jeffreys Bay and Mount Pleasant. Jeffreys Bay have the first center pass. They take it down to the circle quite quickly. Over to the goal attack. Mount Pleasant ball outside. Taken back by Jeffreys Bay. Penalty. Jeffreys Bay playing it back out and then into the circle. Goal attack to shoot. Jeffreys Bay outside. Right, the first goal goes to Jeffreys Bay. Set um, Jeffreys Bay. Goal attack to shoot. Into the circle, Jeffreys Bay to shoot. Contact by the goalkeeper from Unpleasant. Penalty to Jeffreys Bay. And that's a, another goal to Jeffreys Bay. That's power play, so it was two, two points. Another goal to Jeffreys Bay. Mount Pleasant centre pass. It was a held ball. It's a free pass to Jeffreys Bay. Defence from Mount Pleasant getting the ball back. Some nice passing from Mount Pleasant and good defending from Jeffreys Bay. Over into the circle. Shooter was well placed. Throw into Jeffrey's Bay. And then another goal to Jeffrey's Bay. Their center again. Off sides there. Unpleasant using short passes to work the ball down. It's an obstruction from Jeffreys Bay. Well passed in the circle. Unpleasant throw in. Goal to Mount Pleasant. And it's their centre pass. Yeah. 
centers out of play from Jeffrey's Bay. Intercepted there by Jeffrey's Bay. No one in the circle. It's half time, so there'll be a changeover. Right, this change over past five. The umpires are waiting on the side. I see Mount Pleasant have taken their places on the court again. Mount Pleasant still have their power play. The umpire gives the ball to Jeffrey's Bay. It's their centre pass as we start the second half of this first match of the Amanda Lingenfelder Fast Five tournament. Jeffrey's Bay have got it down to the circle quite easily, passing out. And footwork there, so it's a free pass to Mount Pleasant. Let's see if they can get the ball down quickly. Jeffrey's Bay intercepted again and some good defense work there by Mount Pleasant, just not able to retain the ball. Oh, it was a contact, so it's out of play. And another goal to their center pass. Controlled the ball well there, and another goal. Mount Pleasant Centre, Jeffries Bay, but it is now a free pass to them. Looks like they were going the wrong way at that for a moment, but they've turned themselves around. I'm not quite sure why they are playing backwards. And over to the goal shooter, the goal attack passing out again. Contact from the Mount Pleasant Center. Right, that was a goal of the rebound for Jeffreys Bay. Leading 9 1, their center. Not quite sure what happened there. Contact from the blue centre from Jeffreys Bay, so it's a free pass, a penalty to um, Mount Pleasant. That pass not quite making it to the player going out, and it's a throw in for Jeffreys Bay. Inside. Right over to the couldn't take the ball there. Just remember that in a fast five you play without a wing defense and a wing attack. Loose pass going. Didn't quite work for either team. It's a throw in for Mount Pleasant. Nicely. Nicely defended by Jeffries Bay, but the foot was outside the line. 
went it over over to the shooter into the goalkeeper's hands and another goal to Jeffrey's Bear. While we move into the last couple of minutes of this game, the next two teams will get ready to take up their positions on court. Oh, nice goal there to Jeffrey's Bay. That's the end of the match. Uh, Jeffreys Bay have won that game, 12 points to one. The next two teams on court will be Settlers Park and Charlotte Primary. That will be our match number two of this Amanda Lingenfelder Fast Five. And on a point of interest, Amanda Lingenfeld uh, coached the under-13s and was head of netball at Sunridge for many years. She's actually here this evening to watch this tournament that is named after her. So although she's not listening to this live stream, we welcome her here this evening. And I see the next two teams are actually lined up for the inspection nail inspection from the two umpires Right, the next match is about to start. It's Settlers and Charlo. Charlo have the center pass. Goal defense out of play. Destruction by the goal defense again. Penalty pass over to the Charlo goal attack. And the first goal is in. Settler's centre pass. Unfortunately, there's a footwork mistake by the centre of Settler's Park in the circle, so the ball is turned over to Charlo. Okay, hard luck. They tried to pass it over. She wasn't able to connect it. This penalty there is contact from the goal attack from Charlo. Incorrect play of the ball, so the ball is now turned over. Another goal to Charlotte. It's their centre pass now. Well defended there by Settlers Park. Unfortunately, a wild pass into the circle. 
Now I see Shola O using their power play. Unfortunately, the ball is down at the other end. They need to get it down quickly to um, make use of it. They don't want to waste it. The center from Settlers Park is out of play. It's still power play to Charlotte. Can they get two goals from this? The penalty to Charlotte there. Can they get the ball over to the shooter? Ball went out. It is a throw in to Settlers Park. Well done and intercepted by the goal attack from Charlotte. And that's another goal for Charlotte. Right, that was some pressure there from Charlotte, so time was up. Three seconds, they didn't get their center pass away. Another opportunity for Charlotte to shoot. It is a penalty shot to Charlotte. Another penalty and a goal to Charlotte. <laughs> Charlotte Shooter wasn't able to hold the ball there, but she managed to pick it up and pass it into her goal attack, who passes it back over to her. Unfortunately, footwork, so settlers get the opportunity to take the ball down. They haven't been able to pick it up. Charlotte get it again. Contact there again. She's goal defense is out of play. Charlotte not able to put it in the net that time. The shooter gets another opportunity from the rebound, and that would be another advantage goal to Charlotte. Settler center. Nicely passed in the circle and um, Charlotte goal defense out of play ball is loose settles ball out okay they want the ball down the other end the bus gone out there pass into the goal attack and a goal to Settlers. The umpire picking up on the contact there and that is another goal to Charlotte. Charlotte Center. Ball over to the goal shooter. Oh, she almost lost her balance there. She steadied herself, wasn't able to put it in the net. Goal attack has made no mistake in her attempt. was a quick play from Settlers. They weren't able to hold the ball though. It's gone a bit loose there. And um, it's Charlotte ball outside. Goalkeeper taking the ball outside. It is much faster. And uh, more energy consuming being minus two players on the court. 
And that is another goal to Charlo. And I see settlers are using their power play now. And unfortunately the ball turned around by Charlo there. Chance here. But again have lost it. Not able to get it into the circle. So Charlo making full use of it, taking advantage. And been well defended by settlers. Unfortunately the power play is over, but can they still get it down for a goal? And a goal, stepping forward as well into the nearly into the defender, but they have managed to get a goal there. It is Settler's centre, they're battling with their centre pass, but managed to get it away there. Right, that's another incorrect play. The uh, players need to listen to the umpires and follow their instructions. It's unnecessary to throw the ball away or waste it. You need to take full advantage. That was good work there by the uh, goalkeeper from Settlers, although it's now Charlo's throw in. up the rebound another chance who's going to get the ball then right that was um, it's a penalty to the goalkeeper of Charlo the tussle for the ball going on there and uh, Settlers Park could take the ball outside, throw over to the goal shooter, but well picked up by the um, goalkeeper of, sorry, of Charlo. Goal shooter trying another step forward and another goal for Settlers. Players need to listen to the umpires. There seems to be a little bit of a problem, but they've sorted themselves out now. And they attempted to throw the ball over to the goal shooter, Charlo. It didn't quite get there. Although it is Charlo's ball outside, she will obviously go for the goalkeeper. Well def tried there by the goalkeeper of Settlers. Right, that is time. We will check on that last goal.
was 10-4 to Charlotte. The next game we move on to is Ferkena and Sunridge Primary. They too are standing waiting for the uh, nail inspection by the umpires. Obviously, Sunridge are the host team, and it's nice to see so many of the learners supporting them. I know the under-12 team is here in full force, but there are others as well. And uh, Sunridge have the centre pass. The players have to adjust to playing without a wing attack or a wing defence, so it just takes them a few seconds to settle in. Sunridge with their first attempt at goal. Picked up by the goal shooter, the rebound, and it's a goal to Sunridge. For Kenneth centre pass now. She's battling to find... All right, the ball has been turned around. And uh, the goal defends from Sunridge. Well picked up by the center. It was quite a wild pass. They've lost the ball. For Ken have turned it over. They just need to settle down a little bit. Things are a little bit crazy here. Right, it's a. Fikena's got the ball. Can they get it down now to their goal? Again, a turnover for Hill Ball. It's in the circle. Are they going to take a long shot? No, going to pass over to the shooter. And it's a goal to Sunridge. Was a well placed ball to the shooter. Into the circle, another. Haven't been able to pick it up. For Ken, have turned it over. Oh, it was a. Good attempt, but not to be. Sunridge throw in. The Kenna have got the ball again. Over to the goal attack, penalty shot. And a goal to for Kenna. Sunridge centre. Okay, Sunridge have taken the power play, so they need to turn that ball around if they're going to take advantage of it. For Kenner are playing the ball down to the goal circle. It's a good defensive attempt by Sunridge, but for Kenner's throw in. That was well defended by the goalkeeper, but picked up by for Kenner. Sunridge have got it. Can they get it down to still make use of their power play? The time is ticking. But this is all new to these girls, so I'm sure in the next rounds they will take full advantage of it. Both teams need to settle down a bit. Things are a bit loose. And what a good goal that is from the uh, Sunridge shooter. 
Sunridge Centre. Fricken have turned the ball around. Sunridge have got it back again. Rebound taken by the goal shooter and into the net the ball goes. Scored this stage is 6-1 to Sunridge. It is for Kenner's ball now. Into the circle that was contact by the Sunridge player. The rebound picked up by Fakena and goal scored. Sunridge Centre and uh, it's been turned around by Fakena Sunridge Centre out of play and that's the half-time whistle and Sunridge are leading six goals to two Sunridge seem to be making a few changes. I'm not sure if McKenna are going to make any changes. The 30 second call has been made to the players. McKenna are back on court. Sunridge on their way onto court. And it is Bikina's centre pass. Goal defensive Sunridge is out of play. Right into the circle. It was well passed by Fakena. And that's an advantage goal there. Goal there to Sunridge. Again, uh, going to go for the long shot. We've got the uh, two defenders of Sunridge. So Kenna ball outside all over and it's a power play so for Kenna have scored two goals there which all of a sudden changes the score and brings them up to 7-5 the power play makes a huge difference into their shooter. So Sunridge have done well to turn it around. Power play is over. It was well passed to the goal attack. What a goal, that was very well done. It's a good goal. From far out, Sunridge Centre. Another goal to Sunridge from a penalty. by the uh, goal of
Right, we're having a road substitution um, by Fekinen. In the meantime, Sunridge scored another goal. It was well passed to the goal shooter. Kenna center pass. Are they able to get another goal here? Picked up by the Sunridge goal. So attempt from far out and there goes the final whistle. And Sunridge are the victors there by 12 goals to 6. The uh, next matchup will be in Newton Park and Lorraine. Lorraine have got the centre pass. They're playing Newton Park. Newton Park trying to get the ball down. Turned it over. Newton Park's first trotted goal. It was Newton Park's ball outside, foot was on the line, so Lorraine get the turnover. Goal shooter was... Took the ball incorrectly, she needs to take it, the goalkeeper needs to take it inside. Bit of footwork there, just need to settle the nerves. Everybody's very hasty, and Newton Park have got the ball now. Newton Park have got the ball again. They're going for the long shot over. They uh, need to move in a bit, the goalkeeper. He's pushing her right towards the line. It's a penalty to Lorraine. The goalkeeper's got the ball out. Into the hands of Newton Park again. Obstruction by the centre from 
Lorraine. It's a penalty to Newton Park. She's got the rebound. Shooter picked the ball up, but a wild throw trying to save it. Lorraine is bringing the ball down now. Penalty to Lorraine. So, goal for Lorraine. <coughs> Lorraine centre. Well defended by Newton Park. I just need to play slowly. Well placed pass. She wasn't able to sink the goal. So Lorraine have picked up the rebound and bringing the ball down quite quickly. See if they can get it into the circle. The shooters come out. Penalty there. Yeah. Goalkeeper's out of play now. The centre actually went offside into the circle. I don't think the ump saw that. But um, penalty in the circle to Newton Park. Penalty to Lorraine and goal. All right, that's the half time whistle. And uh, Lorraine are leading two one. Instruction, instruction from the goal attack. It's a penalty pass to uh, Newton Park. <laughs> Lorraine throwing. Newton Park weren't able to get that ball into the circle. I'm not quite sure there, perhaps she had her foot on the line, but the umpire's blown it up and turned it over to Lorraine. Lorraine taking the ball down now, to the centre, almost intercept by the goalkeeper there. And uh, the rebound attempt taken by the goalkeeper. Throw into Newton Park. The uh, pass inside goes to. Uh, okay, it was a replay of the ball there by uh, Lorraine. So Newton Park have got the ball. Right. Right, the uh, settlers of uh, sorry, Newton Park have taken their power play, so it was actually 3 2. Lorraine have turned the ball away, so um, 
Newton Park are going to lose the advantage of the power play unless they can turn the ball around here. And uh, they should sink this. So we even Stevens again at 3 all. And it was Lorraine Centre, so Newton Park have lost the advantage and the power play is over. Newton Park bringing the ball down. This is a close game, so they have to make sure of every pass and every attempt at goal. That was a wild pass over to the goal shooter that didn't get to where it needed to be, so it's a Lorraine throw in. Okay, the ball goes back to the keeper from obstruction from the goal shooter. Obstruction by the center. Obstruction by the center. Goal defense. The center is out of play. Obstruction by the goal defense. Ball must be taken inside. It was well defended, but a replay by the uh, goal defense trying to pick the ball up. It was loose. Well taken the rebound there by the Lorraine goal shooter. And uh, not to be picked up by Newton Park. She needs help. Held ball. It's unfortunate that they're not taking making the most of the opportunities when you get a free pass or a penalty you need to use it quickly and efficiently down to Lorraine into the circle into the goal into the goal attack back into the hands of the goalkeeper from Newton Park Right, they need to use this ball. Another wild pass over. Could be Lorraine ball outside. That is the end of the game. With Lorraine winning that four goals to three. Park. We're just waiting for that to go up on the board. That will mean further down Sunridge will play Lorraine. Settlers have the ball. Mount Pleasant coming onto the court now. The settler's goalkeeper giving the advantage to Mount Pleasant. to Mount Pleasant and uh, it's their centre pass. Goalkeeper wasn't able to take the pass from the goal shooter. She might have been best to take a chance there and shoot herself.
That ball went over a third. So the ball taken by Settlers Park into the circle. And uh, she will get a penalty shot from that. And that is a goal to Settlers. Contact from the uh, Mampezin goal attack, giving Settlers a pass. Unfortunately, there is foot fault there. So Mampezin get the ball back. A good defence work there by Settlers, but unfortunately, there was an offside, so Mount Pleasant will get the ball again. Contact by the centre, so it's a penalty pass. No. Contact by the goal defence. Ideally, the goal attack should have put the ball down and given it to the centre and moved into the circle. Now there's a contact by the goalkeeper. The goal shooter should never take it. She should be in the circle. Good defensive work there by Settlers Park. The ball turned around again. Pleasant bringing the ball down again. It gives Settlers the um, advantage again. Settlers ball inside now. The goal attack not able to find the goal shooter there. Now, Settlers Park need to get the ball in there. They've taken a power play and uh, Unless they can get the ball back, which they have, can they get it? We weren't able to make full use of it. It's half time. I'm sure the coaches will do some uh, talking to them. The defense has been very good on both sides. Right, the players are back on court. The score is one all. Mount Pleasant unable to hold on to the ball there. Will be a throw in. <laughs> Opportunity and they've made the most of it, so they now lead 2-1, and it's their centre pass.
well defended again. So Mount Pleasant have turned it over. Can they get it into the circle? Unfortunately, footwork there. And that's a goal to settlers. Does that cause problems for them? And settlers have a penalty there. I've been turned around. There was um, an obstruction there. They are definitely feeding off each other's mistakes but are not able to turn them into goals. And that is the final whistle there. Three, two. Okay, I have four. One, I get that. Four. No, but let's just check. Let's check. Right, Settlers won that game by uh, four goals to one. Right, that should be the end of load shedding, so they're just going to switch the lights over. And next up on Court, Kenner and Newton Park. And uh, the ball goes over, the goal attack with her first attempt at goal. Unable to pick the rebound up, Otter. But Ken have turned the ball around. Unfortunately, footwork there. So the ball will go back to on again. Lots of commentary uh, from the coaches on the side, as they are allowed to coach from the side during this format of the game. Newton Park have got the ball outside. They only have three seconds to pass, so they need to think quickly. Players need to come forward. There's a loose ball, there was nobody in the circle. Fakina have turned it around. The ball comes down to Fakina's end. Fakina's ball outside. And a uh, little bit of loose wild ball being thrown around. The girls are unable to pick it up. Best they settle down, otherwise they're wasting valuable time in the shortened format of the game as well. 
Newton Parker picked it up again. Unfortunately, footwork there, so for Kenna get the ball. And uh, another loose pass, so it's back to Newton Park. Nicely passed over. Goal shooter has picked the ball up. Wasn't able to get the lift on the ball. Goal attack's got the rebound, got the rebound again, and sinks it. Kenna taking their power. Park have turned the ball around. Kenna made a brave attempt to pick that up. Not to be. Newton Park had it. It's turned around again. Back to Fakena. Right, that's the halftime whistle. The teams are back on court. It is for Kenneth Center Pass. Kenna shooting for goal and then passed outside for Kenna to take the throw in and Newton Park get the ball unfortunately obstruction by the Newton Park and this is fault there ball incorrectly taken Goes back, goal attack has got the ball into the center. The goalkeeper out of play, goal attack sinks the ball. So the Kenna get their first goal. Newton Park Center, she's battling. She's got to use her time. Time was almost up there. The footwork there. Some unnecessary mistakes creeping into this game. And that's a penalty to the goalkeeper from Fakena inside. Can she get the ball down to her players? It's mid-court now. Unfortunately, footwork there. Newton Park have got the ball. <laughs> goal attack has picked up the rebound. Instruction from the goal defense. Goal shooter will now have an attempt. And uh, not to be, Fakena picked up that ball. It's back to the goal. Goal didn't go in. Newton Parker picked up the ball. Newton Park have got it. All they've got to do is put it in the net. They don't seem to be getting the height on the ball. Right, that is a penalty pass here to uh, Newton Park. And the ball goes in. Is there still time? 
That's the match. So. Um, And um, Charlotte have got the center pass. Charlotte have got the yellow bibs on. <laughs> Defense by um, Jeffries Bay there. Charlotte's ball outside. Right, Jeffries Bay got the penalty there. They've got to make sure of their passes. Bit of backwards and that. So the power play is really working for Jeffries Bay. In the early round, they were the only team to score on a power play. Um, but now they're taking full advantage. Charlotte got a past yet over to the uh, shooter she wasn't able to take it Charlotte's ball outside Right, we're having a rolling substitution here by uh, Charlotte, just in time to take that ball. But uh, right, it was well picked up, and that's an advantage goal to Jeffries Bay. And Jeffries Bay. Charlotte picked up that ball. The shooter came out of the circle and she's picked it up. Goalkeeper. Okay, that is a penalty to Charlotte, so the goalkeeper's taken the ball. There's a lot of um, contact going on here, but they need to take the ball in the back. Charlo penalty. Rachel, get in the circle! Right, so Charlo penalty. Right, Charlo ball there. That is the half time whistle. Umpires having a discussion in the middle. Players have gone to their coaches. And Jeffries Bay are leading six goals to two. <laughs> the 
well taken by the shooter. It's holding the play up. The goal attack is standing patiently with the ball. She will take a shot at goal. They uh, will restart the time. Under the, yeah, the umpire has given the signal to restart. And it's uh, Charlotte's ball outside. Okay. Well placed for her shooter. We have an injury. He scores a goal. It's uh, Charlotte on the attack again. The goalkeeper, uh, the goal shooter, was unable to pick. Down court, playing back into the goalkeeper. That was obstruction. The uh, goal attackers got the ball, and that would be an advantage goal. Lorraine leading 2 0, and it's their centre. There's Sunridge center pass. Sunridge have made a rolling substitution. It's Lorraine throwing the goal shooter was unable to pick that ball up. And uh, the uh, players have all taken up their positions. Center pass. Sunridge center out of Sunridge center out of play. Goalkeeper! Wow, what a goal! Being taken by the goalkeeper of Lorraine. Lorraine bringing the ball down. Fault there. So they lost the advantage in the power play. Don't have to. Keep their uh, nerve about them. <laughs> Penalty to Sunridge. And ball is and ball is in. Lorraine centre pass. Now going to go into a penalty shootout, so we're waiting to see what happens with that game being.
time. There's only three seconds to throw it. This is fast and intense when you play this. I suppose that's why they call it fast five. But playing minus two players puts a lot of responsibility and pressure onto the others. Mount Pleasant have a penalty. And shooting. Not to be. For Kenna taking the ball down. The uh, goalkeeper is out of play there, leaving the goal shooter open. She's going to take a shot. And she picks up the rebound as well. The Kenna center pass. Kenna shooting for goal, and they have got another goal in. Mount Pleasant on the attack now. All on the same side of the court, held ball. Unpleasant on the attack again, unable to hold on to the ball, and uh, a centre can't pick it up again. That is a replay. <laughs> Some good defensive work by Mount Pleasant again. Can they get the ball down to their goal? Some short passes. Careful but short. Been turned around, so it's a bit of backwards and forwards at this stage. Um, unpleasant held ball, just couldn't get. Unpleasant on the attack. Unpleasant centre, and again, she centre is battling to find. Her goal attack or goal defense, the ball goes out. It's actually for Kenna's throw in. <laughs> Nicely passed. And penalty, there was contact by the goal defense. And another goal to Fakena. That is 12, and it's their centre. Rebound taken, and that will be an advantage goal. Unpleasant are really battling to find the open play there. Um, so that's turned over again to Fakena. And that is the end of the match. Okay. I think it is. That's uh, Fakena walking away as the victors in that match. Well played to those girls.
Right, on court here we have Newton Park and Settlers and um, the game has just started. Settlers have turned the ball around. There's an unfortunately a footwork error there. So Newton Park get the ball. And uh, the uh, goal keeper was obstructed by the goal shooter. Um, the pass to the goal shooter not getting enough height on it. Um, settlers are passing this ball around very, very quickly. And um, Newton just un unable to control it at the back line. Obstruction by the goal defense. What was a good goal from the settler shooter? And it's their center. Into the hand of uh, Newton Park. But they have turned it around again. The defenders, the defenders from the settler side were very good in the previous match. In the previous matches. Settlers ball outside. Very well passed into her uh, goal attack and that ball rolled around the ring and in. Newton Park centre. Can they get that ball? Oh, what a pass over to the goal attack. And a goal there to Newton. Settler centre pass. And uh, obstruction there from the Newton Park player over to the shooter. Unfortunately, that was a replay ball. So the goalkeeper has the ball, free pass. The defender's working very hard. You're over to the center at Newton Park. She's picked up the ball. And the goal attack in the circle waiting. She's going to pass out. Uh, contact by the settler center. So she's out of play. And the goal attack now shooting. And the uh, score is 2 all. And it's... Uh, Newton Park Center. Settlers throwing. Careless mistake. Taking the ball in the incorrect position. Too far from the line, I think, was the call from the umpire. But, uh, that was the goal shooter obstructing the goalkeeper coming from uh, behind. Oh, well picked up by the goalkeeper of Newton Park. She anticipated that ball and was able to intercept it. Newton Park bringing this ball down nicely in a controlled manner. No, defenders have intercepted it again. Newton Park turned it around and back it goes down to their goal circle. Again, it was that goal defense from Settlers Park. They did the hard work there. Settlers Park ball outside. Taken too far from the line, I think is again the call from the umpire. Your foot may not be on the line, but you can't be further than 15 centimeters from the line. It's one of the new rules that came in a couple of years ago. And uh, 
that gold defense from Settlers Park is causing a lot of problems for the Newton Park attack. She uses her outside arm very nicely. That time she's put out a play, but she's working hard. Nicely placed for the goal shooter. And the goalkeeper is put out of play. And uh, that is a goal to Newton Park. Settlers Park got the ball outside, not able to hold on to the ball. One of the other players were able to pick it up. Right, we go into half time with Newton Park leading three goals to two. So the players are really giving it their all here. Right, we start the second half with uh, Newton Park leading three goals to two in their centre pass. And that is another goal to Newton Park. All turned around, so Newton Park have it. The goal shooter. He's out of play. They have to stand next to and away from. You can't stand behind or, or in front or whatever. It was a good pass over to her goal shooter, the goal attack now getting the rebound and uh, the uh, players from Newton Park being put out of play, just not able to lift that ball and uh, settlers now score. It's Newton Park Centre. Nicely passed to the goal shooter, and it's they've taken a power play. And that's a two-pointer taken during the power play. Thank you. 
That's it of course. It's four. I'm sure that's six, but I don't think that's right. That's a course. All right, settlers have got the throw and they're trying to take a long pass over to the goal shooter, but the goalkeeper from Newton Park has actually picked the ball up. Center unable to hold it, picked up again by the goal defense. And uh, they're unable to hold it, so it'll be a throw in for settlers. Yeah, the goal shooter is out of play. It's a penalty to Newton Park. And that was very well done by the goalkeeper. Some excellent defensive work again from the Settlers Park girls. Unfortunately, not able to get it right down. And um, the goalkeeper from Newton Park has the ball. Oh, well done. Good work again by the goal defense. <laughs> the um, goal attack from Settlers likes to step forward. The defense must just stay in their place. So if they step into them, it's their contact. And some good defensive work again there, but she wasn't able to keep the ball. The goal, goalkeeper should come forward and take that ball to give the others space to move down. Newtonbach just unable to put that ball in before the whistle. So settlers are the winners here. That was in the ball section. We now move into the match playing for third and fourth place in the cup division. And that is Charlotte and Lorraine. Again, Charlotte have got the yellow bibs on, Lorraine in the white dresses. Charlotte trying to get the ball to center. into the circle and that is a goal for Charlotte. Lorraine center pass. That was a wild pass but uh, picked up by Charlotte. They're bringing the ball down. They just need to think carefully, pass carefully. Goal attack was open. They needed to have passed quicker but uh, they're coming back for a Pass. That ball should have been passed a little bit quicker, but um, Charlotte have got the ball. 
center is out of play. The shooter taking the shot now. Just pushing it a bit. You need to put height on the ball and spin. Let's hope there's no serious injury here now. Two girls collided. Okay, they're both back up. Lorena bringing the ball down. Goal shooter managed to pick up on the ball. And um, Charlotte's throw in. Bit of a wild throw there, but picked up by the center. And well taken. Good defensive work by Lorraine. Actually, there was a foot fault there. Lorraine, good defensive work there. And uh, that was uh, unfortunately over a third, so the ball's going to come back now to Charlotte's advantage. Penalty to Charlotte. Obstruction by the Lorraine goalkeeper. Again, no lift on the ball. Contact there, so it is Lorraine's ball. Center wasn't able to take it cleanly, but picked, picked it up. And uh, the goal shooter has come out of the circle, and the goal attack gone in. It was well played, and that is a goal to Lorraine. We won all, Lorraine's centre. It's actually Charlotte's ball, there was a mix-up. Ball turned over by Lorraine again. Well taken by the goal shooter and into her goal attack. I... Ball taken outside. The umpire's called it inside as a penalty. So Lorraine will take the shot and score the goal. And it's Lorraine's center pass. Well done by the goal defense from Charlotte. It was very well intercepted, but Lorraine have done the same and they have intercepted the ball. Goal attack from Charlotte out of play. Lorraine bringing the ball down, unable to take it. Charlotte have picked up on that loose ball. The goal attack from Lorraine has been put out of play. Center from Charlotte coming forward nicely. Some loose passing there, battling to get the ball in. The defense of Lorraine is really good there. Charlotte, goal attack has got the ball there. Just too much weight on it. Lorraine bringing the ball down. Some defensive work there by Charlotte that has paid off and they turn the ball around. over to the goal attack. That was a lot of very good placing. The, they've lost the ball. Lorraine have got it. Back to her goalkeeper. Center picking up that ball. And over to the goal shooter. That was really well done. And Lorraine have scored.
Right, Lorena leading 3-1 as we go into half time. Players have gone to their coaches. A lot of tips being given. Coaches advising them what to do as they go into the uh, last half of this game. Players are back on court. And we go with the Lorraine Center. Lost the ball there. Charlo have picked it up. And nicely in to the goal attack. And a goal. That's a two-pointer. Charlo have taken their power play. So that puts them at three all. Just shows you all the difference that power play can make. Can they score again on their power play? Well done to the goal. Tech not able to get the ball over to her goal shooter. So well done to the Lorraine goalkeeper who cleared that ball away. Lorraine are down on the attack again. And nicely placed for the goal attack and a goal to them. And um, it's Lorraine centers, so I think Charlotte are going to lose the advantage of that power play. <laughs> Nicely played by the center from Charlotte. And over. Can she get the ball in quick enough? Will she sink it? She does, it's another two points. And at Charlotte's center, the power play is over there, so they're not going to take advantage of that, but they did play on that. And a good interception by the Lorraine center. The uh, goal attack unable to pick it up. Charlotte have turned the ball around. They need to help her. Another good intercept. The uh, goal defense from Lorraine is really putting in a huge effort here. And that is a goal to Lorraine. So the score is five all. Lorraine center. Obstruction there by the uh, goal defense of Charlotte. And an easy pass over to the goal shooter. Not able to get the ball in that time and it's Charlotte throwing. That was well played inside. Oh, nice use of the outside arm by the goalkeeper from uh, Lorraine that just turned the ball round and uh, given. No, that ball should be a uh, penalty to Lorraine with the goalkeeper out of play. And it's power play on Lorraine going to sink it for two goals. They do. So that's taken them to a 7-5 lead and it's Charlotte's center pass. Not able to hold on to the ball. Lorraine will have the advantage here. And the power play is now over. Charlotte picked up that loose ball. And uh, well done to the goal shooter for taking that and sinking it.
The 7-6 seven, six, seven, six to Lorraine. The passing between the goal attack and goal shoot uh, is really working well now, and that is another goal placed. So we 8-6, Charlotte center. Should have gone right over into the circle. No, making it too easy for Ops. Okay, she has picked it up. Just pop it over. All she has to do is pop it over. Oh, what a goal. Well done. It was good backup play there. Lorraine center. Goal defense. The goal shooter has the ball. She picked up the rebound. Another goal there. Charlotte on the attack. The uh, goal shooter needs to try and come forward. And that is the end of the match. And Lorraine win that one, if I'm correct, nine points to seven. Nine goals to seven, well done to them. And uh, we will move into our last match, which will be Jeffreys Bay and Sunridge for first and second place. Right, the girls are on court. Great excitement as we play this final. And um, Jeffries Bay have got the center pass. Our umpires are on court. Our timekeeper has rushed across. Who is going to hold their nerves? Wow, good defense there by Sunridge, but Jeffries Bay get the throw in. Sunridge goal defense out of play. Her teammates need to help. Uh, there was an open throw into the goal attack. She wasn't able to hold the ball. Sunridge have got the throw in. The goal shooter too close. The goalkeeper gets a penalty pass. And uh, that again was a fault from Jeffrey's base. Sunridge get the penalty. And that was nicely done by the goal shooter from Sunridge. Unfortunately, wasn't able to sink the ball. Jeffries Bay down on the attack. And well played. Well placed over. And a goal to Jeffries Bay. Sunridge center. Will this go with center pass? 
not to be. Jeffries Bay have turned it around. Can Sunridge get it back again? Jeffries Bay have picked up that loose ball. It's a power play. And they've scored a two. It was good use of the power play, knowing it was their centre and they had the advantage there. Are they going to score again on the power play? The centre was unable to control it there, so it will be a Sunridge throw-in. Again, a Sunridge throw-in. Knocked out by Jeffries Bay. They need to play in, move away from that line, across to the goal shooter. She needs to take her time. The ball is in, so that we are now 3-1 to Jeffries Bay. Sunridge Center. They need to get rid of that ball. Now that is a replay. It was a careless mistake there, but they're going to correct it, I'm sure, at Jeffries Bay. Jeffries Bay going to take advantage of this. What can our defense do? The rebound taken by the Sunridge goalkeeper. The umpire's whistle is gone. The ball needs to go back to the goalkeeper. The excitement here, people can't always hear the umpire's whistle. Goal shooters come out, she needs a goal attack, well done. Three, two to Jeffries Bay, their center pass. Sunridge center out of play, there was contact. Ball over to the Jeffries Bay, the goal shooter picked it up. And that is an advantage goal to Jeffries Bay. Sunridge center pass. Well picked up by the goal shooter. And um, penalty to Sunridge. Jeffries Bay goalkeeper throwing in from the back. Penalty to Jeffries Bay. Some good defensive work there by the uh, Sunridge goal defense. Another goal to Jeffries Bay. <coughs> Jeffries Bay center. Sunridge goalkeeper knocking the ball out there. So it'll be a throw into Jeffries Bay. That's a penalty to Jeffries Bay and another goal. Sunridge center, what are they going to do with this one? The center's going over again to the goal shooter, but they're not getting the ball over clearly. The uh, goal shooter, I think, needs to roll away and come forward. The Sunridge goal defense is working very hard. No. Right, that's a half time whistle. That seemed to go by quickly. And um, Jeffrey's Bay leading six two.
coaches talking hard to both teams. Lots of advice. The umpire standing in the centre court having a discussion themselves. Right, the 30 second call, the players need to get on court now. Jeffries Bayer on court. Sunridge making their way onto court now. And it's Jeffries Bay center pass. That was good defensive work by the goalkeeper from Sunridge using her outside arm. Sunridge have now got a penalty pass here. The goal defense has come forward to take it. The uh, fault has been moved forward. There was some more obstruction closer. Goal shooter has got the ball. And that is an advantage goal to Sunridge. And it's their center pass. Of course, well picked up by the goal shooter. Intercepted by the center from Jeffries Bay. The goal attack of Jeffries Bay. Well done to the goal defensive. Sunridge is now intercepted. These girls are giving it their all. Goal shooter has taken it from Sunridge. Well placed ball. And that ball spinning around the ring and just not going in. Jeffries Bay getting the ball. Center taking it down. Well picked up by the goal defense from Sunridge. She is putting everything into it, working hard. Sunridge goalkeeper has the ball. The girls need to watch where the umpire is showing where the And over to the goal shooter. <laughs> Jeffrey's Bay center pass. <laughs> that was pressure. Ball turned around by Sunry. Very, very good pressure by the defense players. Ball going astray, back to Jeffries Bay. Oops, goal defense nearly took the pole out and that's Jeffries Bay scoring. Sunridge center pass. It is obstruction there. The ball will come back to Sunridge, right over to the, oh, hard luck. The goal shooter wasn't able to hold it, so it's called foot fault. And the ball is turned around again by Jeffries Bay. There's an advantage offside by. <laughs> Jeffries Bay ball outside. Well picked up by the Sunridge goal defense again. Turned around by the center from Jeffries Bay. That was time, more pressure again, Sunridge ball. Free pass there. The goal attack from Jeffries Bay shooting. And the ball is in. 8 4, and it's Sunridge. No, it's not. It's Jeffries Bay center. 
and uh, the ball was incorrectly in complete center. What can Sunridge do with the last few minutes? Jeffries Bay had ball outside. Unfortunately, a foot on the line, so it turns around. Sunridge take the ball outside. Let's hope they don't make the same mistake. Ball inside, obstruction intercepted. The center from Jeffries Bay is really giving it her all as much as the goal defense from Sunridge. They're going to be 10 very tired goals. It's an advantage goal to Jeffries Bay. These 10 goals on court are unbelievable. And that's Jeffries Bay ball. It was an incomplete center there. Well intercepted by Sunridge. Can the goal shooter pick the ball up? That's a power play, so that is two. Jeffries Bay center. Nearly intercepted by the Sunridge goal attack and then the goal defense. Oh, well done. That was an outside arm by the goal defense. The goalkeeper picking it up. Sunridge taking the ball, the ball down. The power play is still on. Can they score? That's another two points. I'll just check the phone. Right, that gives a victory to Jeffries Bay. Well, well done to the girls on court. Both these teams played good netball and very exciting netball. Víte, ve tři dny má uké.
Rai, dames en heren, ek denk, dit is die eerste keer bij ons school, dat ons aan die einde van die avond al acht spannen nog steeds heet. Kom ons geef hulle aan de klap. Rai, um, die meest gehate mensen moet altijd eerst die ietsie kry. So ek vraag asjeblief vir die vier scheidsrechters om naar voren te kom. Ons vier scheidsrechters asjeblief. Kom, jy sê gaan jy nou gooi met klippen, jy sê eerst as jy huis toe gaan. All the coaches of all the teams, as well as the assistant coaches, not the masters, please come forward. Coaches and assistant coaches, where applicable. Export so much that all kind of school of years and the after is in the conference for the team. Of misschien jij daar kan gaan staan. Ja, staan jij daar kan. Dan schiet je er niet. Kan jij, kan jij zo'n brillen nou weer worden handig? En dan dames en heren, die wat u wat gevolg het en wat weet wat aangaan hierdie toernooi is die Amanda Lingenvelder Fast Five. Sy is nog met ons, sy is vanavond die, ek gaan vraag dat my naas blief na voren kom om vir ons die waarhandiging te doen van die medailles en die trofees. Nou, Amanda is een legende by ons school. En op een stadion wou sy nie gaan nie, sy wil geblij het en geblij het. Toen gaan ons het deal aan en sê, alright, die reding is jou, maar dan moet jy gaan. So dis hoekom sy nou nog steeds hier by ons is in die exportsomme. Amanda, baie dankie dat jy vanavond hier is. Dit is waarna die toernooi vernoem is. Ek praat om die correctie as ek verkeerd is, dan slaan jy my. Mevrouw Lingenvelder was 32 jaar lang by die school betrokke en omtrend net so lang by die school sy eerste span. En ons het gedink om hier die toernooi na haar te vernoem. Right, ons begin met die bouwwenners en dit gaan natuurlijk wees die span van Sedlars Park. De hul team is kan voor. De hul team. En die medaille? Hulle medaille? Ja. O, daar op leeg. Oké. Van ons defender. Van ons eerst daar op leeg wat om nie rustig. Kom ons doen jy daar op leeg. Daar op leeg is. Lorijn. 
Right. Ons derde plek winners vir 2023, ek gaan vraag dat hulle achter mekaar na vore kom, die span van Loerijn. Ja, die skare achter nie. Die skare moet asjeblief smaal. Die afrakt is nie. Lorijnse afrakt is moet ook na voren kom asjeblief. Alright, our second place winners, the silver medal to the home team, Sunridge. Nou, wat die ene? Ek het met Stefan gepraat. Nee, Ember is al weet. Ek is die Ember die lange haare. Ek is dan ook. Let's go! Ember! Ember! Hoor die zog, die zog, die zog! Die zog! Hoor net bij jou! Wat die ene is het? Right, before we go to the gold medal, because we know who's getting this, let's first do something else. The attacker of the night, Sunny's Fast Five Netball Tournament 2023 attacker of the night is the goal attack, attack Charlotte. from Charlotte. Twintig, drieëntwintig, centerspeler van die avond. Jeff Ries. En our 2023 defender of the night, all the way from Settlers Park.
Vrijheid. En dan mens wacht elke jaar voor die oomlik. Maar hulle doen het nou al die afgelopen, weet niet hoeveel jaar, voor COVID geween, na COVID geween, hulle weet nie altijd so, ons kampioene van die jaar, weer eens, al die pad van Kougaaf, Jeffries Baai. Ik heb het niet gezien. Ik heb het niet gezien. Ik heb Ons sê dankie vir al die spanne wat deelgeneem het, meneer Vogel. Die meisie sê hulle is recht om hore ochtend gauw een technologie toetsie te skryf. Al sy recht. Sy sê sy luister nie in technologie nie, het gaan nie werkie. Dames en heren, baie dankie dat u was. Dit is die einde van ons laarskoel afdeling. Die eerste woensdag in die derde kwartaal, waar het baie kouwer is as nou, bied ons een fast five aan vir hoorskoel. Hy is klaar vol geboek, verlede jaar was suksesvol, asjeblief kon kyk gerust. Veilig rij, ons sien jy allemaal weer volgende jaar. Aie, dankie.